Welcome, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm gonna show you the proper procedure for diagnosing a faulty hot surface igniter on a gas furnace. Now to begin with, and with any service call, you need to verify the thermostat's calling for heat. So we're gonna do this by clicking this little orange circle, which will turn the selector switch to heat, and turn up the temperature setting of the stat above the room temperature or ambient temperature. Now be sure to refer to the procedure guide after each step. We're gonna click OK. We're now gonna remove the cover of the furnace and take an inventory of which loads are running. But before you do that, you're gonna to need to tape this door switch in because when we remove the door, the door switch is gonna open its contacts and break power to the furnace and to the integrated furnace control. So to do this, you simply can place a piece of tape across the door switch. And we're gonna do this by clicking on this orange square and we're gonna tape that door switch in to close its contacts and reestablish power back to the furnace. Once we've done that, we're gonna see what's running. Well, our inducer's running, and that's the first load that should come on within the sequence of operations. Once clicking yes at the procedure guide, we're gonna reboot the system. And this is due to the fact that after three attempts at ignition, most IFCs will lock out operation. This can be remedied by simply turning the power off and back on so that you can recycle the unit back into heating mode. So let's do this. We're going to click on the switch and we're going to reboot the system. But be aware that you're going to need to immediately look and see if the igniter glows. So when we look in, here's the igniter back here. There is no glow and there would be an obvious glow from that. Its radiant surface reaches 2600 degrees when 120 volts is applied to it. So there's no glow of the igniter here. Now our next step is to check the pressure switch here. The way the furnaces are set up, if the pressure switch does not close its contacts due to an obstructed vent or possibly a faulty pressure switch, the IFC or integrated furnace control will not even send power to the igniter. So let's place our meter leads across the pressure switch and see what we've got. Now sometimes it makes it easier to zoom in a little bit. It makes it easier to drop your leads on these orange hotspots. And when we do that, we get zero volts, which verifies the pressure switch is closed. Now we need to look at what's going on here. We know the igniter is not glowing. What does this mean? Well, it's possible that the igniter is faulty, but it's also possible that the IFC down here in the bottom of the furnace is not sending power to the igniter. So we only have two possible causes. Let's take a quick look at the wiring diagram by clicking on this bottom left icon. And if we take a look here, we can see our leads are placed across the pressure switch currently. And if we look at our hot surface igniter, which is right here, HSI, all of its connections come out of the IFC. So we're going to store that and we're going to verify that the hot surface igniter is receiving 120 volts. Again, you may want to zoom in to help you drop those leads. We're going to place each of the meter leads at the connections going to the hot surface igniter. Now in a real world application, there's typically a Molex plug here that you can unplug and use your voltmeter right at that point. So when we do this, we have 120 volts present. So this means the IFC is in fact sending power to the igniter and the igniter is not glowing. And this indicates that the igniter is faulty. Now you can do a quick resistance check on it if you like, just to double check your troubleshooting. Um, but in this case here, we're gonna replace the hot surface igniter by clicking on it, replace it. And we can see that the burners fire off at this point. We're gonna click okay. And we're gonna go up to the room and make sure that heat is being delivered to the space. And we can see from the graphic, this floor register does have heated air coming out of it. So our furnace is working fine now. Now, just a couple notes here. You can navigate to any of the components if you wanna take a better look at them by clicking this bottom right icon. You can also launch the procedure guide on the top left here. And this allows you to review any previous steps that you took in the troubleshooting procedure in the event that you're not clear on something. Well, listen, good luck on your service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.